Well, 28-year-old bass baritone Joel Lamosa from Auckland was named the 2018 Lexus SongQuest winner at New Zealand's premier singing competition just two weeks ago. Joel joins us now to tell us how he's feeling now that the news has had the chance to sink in. It is really nice to have you in the studio. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you so much. Um, first of all, congratulations. Cheers, thanks. I mean, what, is it, what does this win mean to you? It's uh, the biggest tick off the bucket list um, in terms of my singing development, and it was a dream come true to be honest. This was the first time you've entered a major competition, so why did it take you so long? <laughs> uh, the singing games are all about patience, and you, okay. it's a, a singing development thing is age, it comes with age, so um, the first time I ever entered Lexus was in 2012, that's when the journey started, but I withdrew from that because I just felt I wasn't up to it. And, oh, nice uh, move. Yeah, yeah, I just genuinely felt, you know, the standard was a lot higher than what I was going to put forward, so um, and then 2014 and 2016 respectively, just too scared. So w and back in 2012, should you not have just gone for it and then got the experience? Totally, I should have because there was a great international judge, um, Dennis O'Neill, and mm. he came over and you know, just to work with him would have been awesome and for him to hear you and, and go through the process, but uh, nah. But just... you're young and you're just not thinking that through properly, are totally, you? Totally, 100%. Mm. So when did you first start opera? Uh, the age of 16. Um, my second to last year of high school, I had a classical singing lesson with uh, Rosie Barnes at Doorth, and from there I just fell in love with the, the stories and the language was so close to Samoan um, that just felt right. And what did your teacher say when she heard you sing for the first time? Oh, the first time she heard me, it was uh, at a choir practice and, and I was the one voice that wasn't blending. The, the one dude who was just sticking out all the time. So <laughs> she said, Someone, someone's not blending here. Yeah, and she's pretty blunt, like she's really honest. So I uh, had a few lessons with her and she looked me dead in the eye and she said, you know, you've got potential, but you have to work. And um, I've never forgotten that. Wow. And this singing competition, as we've said, is the most prestigious because Dame Kiri Takanawa mm -hmm. won. I think Dame, Malvija, uh, Dame Malvina Major is a winner too. I, I remember those nights quite well, actually. Mm. You've got to do it live on the night. So how nerve-wracking is it? Oh, the most nerve-wracking experience ever. Um, for me personally, sitting side of stage, hearing the other competitors before they come off, it's kind of like... Oh, I've got to go top that. Like I've, I've got to put my best <laughs> foot forward and not make a mistake. But um, at the end of the day, the best thing about it is you're not only singing for yourself, you're singing for everyone who's on your singing journey with you. Um, you want to really make everyone proud. So you mm. just try and brush those nerves off and you've got this opportunity to, to sing with the New Zealand Symphony Orchestra, mm. which is New Zealand's premier orchestra. Uh, and what better place to do it than the Lexus semi, um, the finals. Yeah, not the semi, finals. the no, finals. We did it. Uh, so what sort of work do you have to put in? What sort of effort and how many hours goes into that oh, for you? It's it's another full-time job, to be fair. It's, of which you already have one, by yeah, the way, working so at a bank. my second full-time job. Yeah. Um, so this involves a lot of vigorous um, word for word translation, um, singing lessons, one-on-one -on -one coaching, stagecraft, a lot of mental preparation as well. You've really got to you know, put yourself through the paces of accepting whatever happens, happens. Um, so I would say at least four to five hours a day. But do I do that? <laughs> I'm pretty slack. OK, how does this competition work? So do you go up and sing a song and do you get one shot at it? How does it all work? You get one shot in terms of the audition round. So yeah. there's two prelim judges. They travel the country and audition one off. Um, and you sing one song. You prepare six pieces, uh, exactly. Uh, you choose your first piece. The judges then choose the next two. Uh, and then they do this across the whole country and then uh, a few weeks later they announce the 10 finalists. So from however many entered this year, 10 come through and then you work for one week with the head judge um, and another coach, Terence Dennis, in Wellington and you put on a performance to two concerts. Mm -hmm. uh, and then on the final night they announce the finalists they get through and then as you know the winner is announced on, on the night. So that's exciting. So you obviously get a lot of coaching. You do get a lot of coaching. So you should have done it in 2012, shouldn't you? Oh, I should have. <laughs> yeah. I'll stop great. reminding you. <laughs> it's all right. It's all worked out, Joel. Don't you worry. <laughs> what, what do you actually win? So we get a net cash prize of $20,000. Ooh, OK. Yeah, I know. Wow. Oh, I'm going to start singing. <laughs> Everyone start singing. Uh, a beautiful scholarship of $27,000 um, for tertiary education, for further studies development overseas, uh, and a $3,000 um, international travel scholarship. That's exciting. So where are you planning on going with that travel scholarship in the, uh, the study? That's the... $30,000 question. Yeah, um, the 20, what is it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's uh, a conversation I've never really thought of before because I never backed myself to get this far and then obviously we've taken it out so 
a lot of difficult um, conversations to think about and decisions to make. Um, so at this stage, nothing set in stone, but I've got a wise council of teaching staff and New Zealand coaches kind of guiding me through this process. And so hopefully we'll see how we, how we go in the next Where year. Where are you so. leaning, do you think? Uh, well, for my age, I'm still very young for a bass baritone. So um, the, the voice is set to mature mid-30s. So I've got a lot of learning technique things to, to um, make correct in the next mm. few years. Um, but I'm definitely looking... Uh, well, San Francisco seems the place to mm. be at the moment, mm. um, nice. but also you know the the prestigious schools in Wales and in London themselves are also something to think about. Okay, speaking of bass baritone, mm -hmm. what, what exactly does that mean? Excuse my ignorance. Does that mean you're in the sort of the lower register? Absolutely. 100%. How low can you go? Oh well, you know. If Give me a note. Uh, uh, some, some, <laughs> somewhere around there. Um, Sounds like Mel when she's coming to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's a beautiful sound. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Um, and, and, and how high can you get then? Uh, so in a register form, we've got um, soprano, mezzo soprano, um, yeah. a tenor and a bass. Yes. So in between tenor and bass is a baritone. So yeah. I'm also in between the baritone and a bass. Okay. So it can kind of go fairly high for a, for a lower register voice, but also um, have that flexibility to go as cool. low as you need to. Can you can you give us a whirl? Just give it, see how you go. Um, no judging here. We've got mm, no cash money prizes, I'm afraid, but do it. Uh, Oh, now, Mike, would you like to match that now, please? No, I can't. Uh, oh. Good boy. There it is. Yeah. Can we go the other way? Can we go the other way? I want to work out whether I'm a bass or a tenor. Oh, I might blow your speakers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a song in that. <laughs> um, no, no, just give, give, me, give me a tenor note then. Oh, jeez. Um, go for because... it. Don't worry about the speakers. <clears throat> It's a bit scratchy. It sounded really good. Yeah. You might be a little bit Give too old 20 to years. Give me 20 years. Give me 20 years I'll enter. Yeah. Sure. Um, okay, so and, you know, ultimately for you, what would be the opera that you would like to do? Uh, opera, you, you've got dream roles that you want to do. So there are so many different composers which um, kind of portray different ages of the voice, mm. um, the era that it was composed in. Um, for me personally, I, I suit comedic roles. Okay. Um, basses, baritones, we're, uh, we're always going to be the villain, the the wise old man in an opera. Um, that's just generally how things were written. And the tenor always gets the girl. He's the love interest. He's the hero of the day. But the bass is the bad guy or the wise guy or the father of some sort. Um, and so roles, they're always going to be a funny guy or, or a complete egg. See, I reckon that's great. Being yeah. a bad guy is so much more yeah, fun than the totally. one a girl. <laughs> <laughs> and you're also part of Operanesia, aren't you? That's Tell correct. us more about that. So Operanesia, um, we formed together in 2014. Um, so there's the previous Lexus Song Quest winner, Benson Wilson, 2016. Um, and then myself and another uh, two Tongan brothers, um, Taunoa Fili Moihala and Kalauni Povalu. So we formed as a group to fundraise money to go to the New Zealand Opera School and the New Zealand Singing School because they're very expensive to go to. Um, and as a result, the, our first concert, which was in Mangere, was such a success that um, we thought, let's just continue mm. being a, a mm. quartet um, and sing opera and sing Elvis and sing Pacific songs and, you know, really put our heritage first, um, hence Opera Nisia, the, the two um, Opera and Polynesia together. Um, and so that's that's us as a quartet. I know, and you look at things like Sola Mio as well, you know, it's huge 100%. around the world, yeah. so mm. much success. And can I just say, what an inspiring show it has been today, you know, between Olivia and you, full of energy, ready to take <laughs> yeah, on the great. world. I love it. I'm totally excited yeah. too. Thank so you. best of luck. Really looking forward to seeing you develop. I like the fact that you don't mature until you're 35 or so. That is awesome. <laughs> uh, that's enough. <laughs> yeah, but that, you know, I'll stop you there, Mike. Okay. Thank you so much, Joel. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to be keeping a very close watch on Joel and Mosa. Yes. Our very exciting mm. times ahead. And you can find out more information about Joel as well as Alexa's Song Quest finalists online. Mm.